What's up, guys? My new video, and this is Boy of Naruto the Demon King Part 3. And let's get into this. Now, in the last part, we left us off with Naruto training with Kurama. As he grins and says, Finally, I unlocked the six tails for him. Well, Kurama, what do you think? As he says, You've improved a lot. You're just as powerful as me in my four tails form. As Naruto says, And remember, I did amp your power by 400 times. As Kurama says, Yeah, you did. I remember the four t the four tails form was already a four times boost. That's that's very OP. That's very OP. That's one thousand two hundred times a boost in his base form, basically. As Naruto says, anyway, what do you want to do today, Karama? Meanwhile, of Sasuke, as he's staring at the ceiling, his eyes begin to change as they spin. Not to the regular Sharingan, but to another level, as everything comes back to him. All of the torment, the happiness, everything in his life before. As he says, now I remember what I was really sent here to do. Naruto was sitting in a bar, but that's when a zoom grabbed him, as it smashed through the wall. As Naruto says, really Sasuke, you could have waited any bad time, and while I was eating, you know, I should kill you for this. Sasuke looks at Naruto in shock and he says, How did you know? As Naruto looks at his eyes, as he says, You have the Mangekyo Sharingan. Sasuke says, Long story, just know I've suffered in my life. As Naruto says, Obviously, we all have. After all, the amount of wars we've went through. But anyway, that doesn't matter now. So, I'm assuming you want to speak about an alliance. I have multiple terms that I want to be met. As he says, alright, as Naruto says, Number one, if any demon citizens are harmed, I will erase all of your race. As Sasuke looks at Naruto in shock, as he saw the serious look, as he says, Number two, I am the only one entering the front room. I am going to kill my father, not you, not your father. After all, demons do get, well, 50 times stronger in hell. And angels get 50 times stronger in Seraph. And Seraph is the name of the angel's home. And Sasuke says, alright, what else? As Naruto says, that's about it really. But anyway. <sighs> what are your terms? Sasuke says, just don't turn on us. And Naruto says, alright, I have another term. If any demon citizens are hurt, I really will kill you all. Just know that, okay? And same goes for me. If I hurt any of your citizens, please kill me. I won't even resist. As Sasuke says, deal. As both of them disappear. Now we're gonna skip to the alleyway. As Naruto appears behind Conqueror. As he says, let go of him. As Conqueror is in shock, no one could even sense Naruto's presence. As Tamari was. Bob's man, she couldn't even understand how was someone this fast, not even Gara could react. As Gara jumps down, he says, I apologize for my stupid sins. As Naruto says, put the kid down. As Kankuro says, no. By the way, Gara and Shukaku were friends, so Gara's not insane. As they both hate humanity. Naruto says, put the child down. One last warning. As Gara can said something wrong, he says, put him down, Conqueror. As Conqueror says, what? This breath does all of a sudden. Naruto sent Conqueror flying, just by grabbing him by his head. As Tamari looked at Naruto in shock, as a massive cloud of smoke erupted. As it was in the forest, as Naruto says, good luck finding him. As he kneels down to Konohamaru, he says, are you alright, Konohamaru? As multiple armbo appeared out of nowhere. As Konohamaru says, yeah, thanks. And he says, Alright, let's find your Sante. That's when Ambu say, Lord Naruto, what happened here? You could see the cloud of smoke. As Naruto laughs and says, Funny story. After explaining, they say, What do you want us to do with these people? Naruto says, Leave them for the exam. As he disappears with Konohamu, as they still couldn't well, understand how he could do this. It wasn't even body flicker, because he could always teleport to different areas. 
Even when Kakashi explained to them how or some complex type of jutsu. Well, they still didn't get. How was he able to upgrade something that was already so great and brought to its maximum capacity by the fourth Hokage? Naruto appears in Minato's office and he says some San Shinobi attacked him. Deal with him. As Naruto disappeared. As we're going to skip to the second stage of the exam. Naruto and his squad are running. And Sasuke nods because they can both sense it. That's when a giant snake comes out of nowhere. But Naruto slashed it into multiple bits. And he proceeded to drain all of the blood from it, forming a giant spear. As he used the tail as, well, a type of drill. That's when it began to spin rapidly, moving faster than the speed of light itself. That's when. Flames started to cover it, as it disintegrated Orochimaru and his teammates. As Naruto said, Oh, that's draining. Sasuke looked at him in shock and said, Impressive. You managed to pull off something like that. Very impressive. You knew blood shouldn't be lit on flame. As Naruto says, Plus, we have a nice snack we can eat. As Sasuke looks at him in disgust, and he says, What? You know that this is a delicacy, but under what? Uh, I mean, well, you know this is a delicacy all across the nations, right, Sasuke? As he says, I suppose, but still. As Sakura was wondering what they were about to say before. As Naruto says, alright then. Now, let's deal with another thing. Orochimaru forms into another body as he says, Damn it, that kid! To get my revenge on him, no matter what. It doesn't matter anyway. He'll suffer himself. I'll make sure of it. As when he appears in front of Gara, as well, Naruto already terrified Gara, as he could sense the killing intent emanating off him. Even Shukaku was scared, as whatever Naruto had inside of him was very dangerous. He knew it was Kurama, but Kurama was. Hundreds of times more powerful than he used to be. What did this kid do to him? As Shukaku realized, he says, Kid, that kid was demon prince. Gara was, well, in horror. As he couldn't even move, it was as if he was petrified. Meanwhile, Gara's squad pull up. As Naruto grins, and he says, Another beating, huh? Is that what you wanted? Well, I'll give you it. Naruto appears in front of Kongoro as he knees him in the stomach, making him spell blood as he bashes his head down into the trees. As they were falling down, Naruto simply standing on it. As he nearly cracked Kongoro's skull open, as Kongoro couldn't move. That's when he jumped back up as he bitch slapped Tamari and proceeded to knock the wind out of her, not hitting her as hard as Kongoro. That's when she jumped back and, well, threw. Gust of wind back at Naruto. Naruto grins and says, Very good. But he throws his own back at her, sending her in a whirlwind, dropping her back into the ground. And he says, Sasuke, as Sasuke cuffs her and conquers her up. That's when Isgara left, Isgara surrenders. After Tamari and Conqueror wake up in the cave, Naruto says, You want some fish? As Gara is already eating some, as they're untied now. As Naruto says, I know Rajimaru sent you, so why are you working with a man who killed your own father? As Gara said, because I hate my father. All he did is make me suffer. As Naruto says, I see. Mine has done the same for me too. So I understand the true pain of suffering, all because of your family. How about this? We can team up and take down Orochimaru anyway. The snake bastard likes little kids. He's a pedo. He shouldn't be allowed in this world. As Garan nods his head and says, Alright then, sure, why not? That's when Garan's teleported into a mindscape. As Sasuke says, Don't worry, your brother's safe. As they look at Kurama in shock. As Yukaku says, Kurama, you've changed so much. Kurama laughs and says, This is what happens when a demon prince evolves you. And this isn't even the full form of, form of the power he offered me as well. He said this was to gain my trust. Well, 
You already had it from the start. As Chicago is like impossible. That means you're even more powerful than the old man. As Karama laughs and says, Well, you got that right. Doesn't mean I don't have respect for the old man. After all, I wouldn't exist without him. But, that being said, you needed the power of a demon to do it. Naruto laughed and scratched the back of his head. Ashikoku says, that means you're the you're an actual father? As Naruto laughs and says, yep, long story. After explaining, Shikaku says, Either way, I still respect the sage. But you weren't there for us like him. As Naruto says, I was locked up in hell for 400 years. What do you want from me? As Shikaku says, I suppose you're right. As Naruto says, why do you think I got the sage to look after you? If anything, you guys would have been like my brothers, not children. So just view me as your older brother. As Shikaku says, alright, I can do that. Rama says, anyway, he would have made a bear father than the old man. I know that for a fact. As Shikaku says, mm, you're sure about that? As Rama says, most definitely. Anyway, Shikaku, what were you up to these days? As he says, well, hunting humans. Naruto says, you know you shouldn't do that. After all, the whole reason I would have killed my father is because he does that. As Shikaku looked at Naruto in fear, as he knew Naruto was above a level of his. Just touching the power of Kurama, as if Naruto used the Six Tails form as well. It's raps, it's literal raps. Naruto is more powerful than Kurama. By hundreds of times at that stage. Naruto says, anyway, it was nice having a conversation with you. By the way, Gara, I want to give you something. As Shukaku becomes begins to transform. Then Gara looks at Shukaku in shock. He's changed a lot. In fact, him and Kurama well, changed quite a bit. From Shukaku, Gara had Kurama was a rampaging monster that would kill any human that got in his way. But this is a lot different. Shukaku says, Huh? Why am I in a human form? Naruto says, you're in a demon form. Why do you think your ears are pointy? And your skin is pale. Why do you think you have marks all over you, huh? If you were a human, you'd just have those golden eyes. You're pretty stupid, you know. He says, well, you're in a human form, so... As Naruto says, let me show you how I truly look then. What? It's not a pretty sight. As Naruto begins to transform, that's when he becomes his true self. Covered in his armor, but he starts to remove some of it as he says, Oh, this armor is so warm. I haven't worn it since I've been to war. As Shukaku looks at Naruto in shock. This is what the demon prince looked like. He's a lot different than he envisioned. In fact, his eyes were golden, just like his. As now Shukaku understood, everyone got different aspects from him. For example, Kramo. Gained his large amounts of power reserves. Shukaku gained his eyes and pale skin. And I could go on about the other ones. But yeah, you get my point. Naruto D transforms. As they get out of the mindscape. This is part one I hope you enjoyed. Bye.